Well, this building was constructed in 1980 by the then Tumut River County Council and the Electricity Supply Authority. The average running costs in electricity and air conditioning maintenance was over $260,000 a year. So the council of the day, Chumachai Council, decided to employ a consultant to look into the feasibility of improving the energy efficiency of the building. We decided to install uh, lighting, uh, solar, a new heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. We were first approached by council in 2012 to, to speak about the building here in the system and whether or not geo exchange was a good option for them. In the ground here in Tumut, we've got a constant 17 degrees. The, the beauty of that and the benefit of that is like a wine cellar or a cave, that's a constant 17 degrees all year round. The alternative with a conventional air-based style air conditioning system is that that might be trying to extract heat out of 7 degrees during the day or maybe it's minus 2 degrees early in the morning. So whereas we're starting at 17 degrees, so we're always going to be that much more efficient. In summer, it's, it's essentially the, the opposite effect. Rather than trying to reject heat into 42 degrees, we're rejecting heat into 17 degrees. So once again, it's always going to be that much more efficient. With the geothermal system, we're using the constant temperature of the earth. The water is circulated through the 35 boreholes in a grid in the car park, is circulated to a depth through the rock and through the water table of about 95 metres, resulting in a very simple heat exchange between the temperature inside the building, which is always required at about 22 or 23 degrees, with the temperature under the ground. The last two years since the um, new systems have been in place, the average cost per year has dropped to about 50,000, which is a about a 70% saving overall.